So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going over maps. I'm going to be going over maps and give my insight on where to position yourself for different reasons as a long range hit scan. That's what we're going to start out with. I might change that in the future if people want to see close range flankers like Tracer, maybe Genji, uh, you know, Torb in some cases, you know, that cheeky Torb in the back line. Uh, we might change that, but for now it's going to be mainly like Sojourn, uh, Cassidy, Soldier, Hanzo, like those types of, even though Hanzo isn't his game, but you get the point, right? So one of the best maps for long range hit scans would be e uh, dorado so first point everybody knows the drill you stand up here right stand up here this is pretty basic uh and the reason for why people stand up here is because the cart is going to be moving here most of the time they're going to have a stationary comp especially in overwatch 2 right now uh orissa roadhog being the tanks so you can stand up here in fact you can actually stay pretty aggressive right here if you're against an orissa and there's not a, a lot of threat from the enemy team so this place right here is high risk, high reward. That place over there is low risk, low reward. So if you stand over here, if you get picked off, then even if you have a mercy, it's going to be hard for your mercy to rescue. you. Because by the time you get picked off, card will most likely be around here. And it's really easy for the enemy sojourn to just like jump up and uh, force your mercy out so they can't rescue. you. Whereas over here, it's a little bit harder. Um for them to cancel rest because if you die here at the edge the mercy can even stay back here and rest you pretty much and walk backwards and you'll break the line of sight uh and the enemy team also has a harder time getting to you um i think you can barely just make this jump um but again it's barely and it's sojourn that can make it it's not like you're not you're not gonna have as many threats here pretty much uh but if you stand here then again you will have way more line of sight behind this building as opposed to over here where you're only going to be having line of sight here pretty much where the uh, card is going to be moving and they can even hide behind the card right so if you feel like uh, if you're feeling very confident and the enemy team doesn't have characters like like a damage boosted ash it's going to be a threat to you a widow hanzo it's like a 50 50 so so you have a way big bigger high ground than they do of course high ground is key in overwatch if you have a high ground you have the advantage pretty much so if they have a damage boosted uh, sojourn here and you have a dam and you have a damage boosted sojourn up here you should win the majority of the time so but just keep in mind that if you die here it's going to be harder for your mercy to rest it's not going to be impossible but it's definitely going to be harder sometimes i actually like to take the position on this roof right here and the reason for why i like the positioning on this roof is because it's very hard for the enemies to get to you but when you peek the enemies, you're very close to them. So the enemies are gonna be here on the road, but you have to pretty much go out to the to the to the corner in order to peek them or like the edge to peek them, uh, which makes it very easy for you to get hit. It's gonna be very hard for you to get headshot, but if they have like a roadhog, for example, he's gonna hit the majority of the hooks on you if you peek here. So again, be careful if you play here. But this can actually work, especially against characters like ash or maybe sojourn um that can like get high ground once for a long period like uh, and i think the shortest cooldown out of ash and and Good sojourn is, is sojourn which is seven seconds um because if they go up here you can either go back again immediately or you can go over and take yellow roof and if you have yellow roof then they use their cooldown to get up here and you can kind of like juggle here and hide and while you're hiding here, your team over here or over here should be able to deal with the with the Ash and Sojourn and force them down or kill them. So again, you'll you'll just you'll run around the the what is it like a like a a cat and mouse chase pretty much, but you're just gonna constantly like hide until your team is gonna get, uh, force them off because your team will have free line of sight on them when they stay on Hagar. You can also go on orange roof. Uh, but pretty much it's just like red building, uh, uh, red building, yellow building, orange building. That's what. I think that's the call out, so I'm pretty sure. Uh, this doesn't really grant much, even though you can stay over here. And if you ever want to fall back, there's an easy way to fall back over here. And you can get high ground again. So that's a that's a way to uh, to um, shuffle between first point as defense. For attack, uh, some people like to uh, some people like to go all the way on the flank over here. And take high ground like this. Uh, I do that sometimes. 
I think the most efficient way of doing it, you can do that with soldier characters that don't have like uh, a lot of uh, ability to get high ground, low ground fast. Uh, with soldier, like I pretty much just chill on, on, on point, like while the point is moving up, uh, trying to like force them off high ground and just move card pretty much. You don't, as defense, what you want to do is you want to take a fight here because you have the huge high ground advantage, but for attacking, what you want to do is you want to just move the card. Uh, don't think too much. Don't try and engage any fights. Just try and get this card over here. Because if you get the card over here, they're going to have to uh, go back from high ground and start contesting card. Because if not, you're just going to keep moving the card. So try and just move the card. Don't try and take any like um, fights uh, if possible. Again, what you can also do is you can go this route here. You can go out of this building. Out of this door, I mean. And, uh, and pretty much just shift up to high ground. Again, you will be exposed on your way up here. So be careful with that. Um, cannot get high ground like this, but you can get high ground if you go on the cart here and jump up. So again, Ash can pretty much get high ground everywhere. Soldier, you can run around. Uh, Cassidy. Cassidy, I say just stay on, on point pretty much. Uh, for attacking here, uh, this window is really strong because once the cart moves in, you'll still have line of sight above the cart. Hello? Going from left side flank is also strong. Again, these are for long range uh, DPS characters. Uh, Roadhog could also go for flank, but most of the time, as a long-range uh, DPS character, going through the choke here is going to be really hard for you because their tank will most likely be contesting close to the cart. And yeah, like 99% of the times, when you as a long-range DPS character gets close to a tank, you will die. So try and always keep your distance. And you can keep the distance by shooting over here because uh, you can quickly go behind line of sight or going this way. Widow, on the other hand can go i don't even know if i can get up there right now on this character uh widow can go up here um and flank this way i guess soldiering can also do that and you can flank behind them again this is way riskier because the moment they see you they're probably all going to be turning on you so and again defense is pretty simple i like to play around this part right here some people like to play around over here but i feel like playing around over here if they push you leaves you in a very tight area where this building especially is going to be breaking a lot of your line of sight and so let's say let's say they push up here you already have to fall back and if they are around this box back here or the market you will not have line of sight on them and the line of sight is very narrow and even here like once you fall all the way back you have like this area and like that area to peek through you can't really look at cars so what i like to do is i would like to play over here around the market so i like to like go out and peek like this use my abilities and go out here and peek if they're like on on the right side of the entrance go right side of the market if they're like on the left side of the entrance or they're already pushing up because if i fall back here i'll still have a lot of line of sight over the cart here and sometimes you can even see heads of, of tank players uh behind here uh you can put that down so you have a lot more line of sight by going up here again soldier you'll have to run pretty much have to run all the way over here and up if you want the high ground but soldier can even do a lot on low on um on low ground here so yeah that's pretty much it uh once they cap the second uh, first point most of the time um they'll cap it where the cart is around here probably so your next fight will be on high ground so uh some people say over here so when cart is moved up here i like to someone sometimes do a flank over here because they do not expect you to come and peek uh, from over here because they'll be focused on your teammates being on the high ground over there and their tanks pushing up. So you might be able to get a, a free pick here, especially in a long range character uh, like Widow. Um, Soldier is also good from time to time, and but especially Soldier as well, especially damage boosts that Soldier can do a lot. But most of the time you want to be standing up here, right? Especially in the beginning, once it first comes out and moves here, you want to be standing up here pretty much. Uh, this is where most of your time is going to be spent. Because uh, you can easily contest if a Hanzo climbs up this wall. So Hanzos, if they climb up, they'll be climbing up this wall. And you can hear Hanzo climbing. And the moment you hear Hanzo climbing, you should be looking at this area right here. Because then you can force him down. Uh, the reason for why I picked this map is the first map is because high ground is very, very strong in Overwatch 2. You're always going to have the advantage. You're not going to win every fight <clears throat> against people that you duel if you have high ground. But you will have the advantage. So you should win the majority of them. Once Karch starts to move around here... And over here around this area you can still play up here uh i like to play up here if i have a visor 
uh, on Soldier because I can I can vice her and then I know the moment I vice her they're you know either gonna flee in there or under here and it's very easy for me to just jump down and like kill them in that corner or if they move in I can like push in and like I know once I push in that they're gonna either be there or there so it's very easy for me to predict where they're gonna be and I should be able to kill at least one or two people doing that um, also with Soldier and Ult. Um, another good high ground once card is around here is over here because over here you have you have line of sight and bank so you know if they're flanking so you can call out the flanks on on the enemies uh and there's line of sight on the card the whole time pretty much uh and it's also very hard for them to get uh high ground to you um they could flank in there which most people don't what they're gonna do if they have this high ground already that they're gonna try and duel you yeah soldier should also stay up here cassidy cassidy i'll say Cassidy, most of the time, your positioning should be with your supports. And most of the time, your supports are in the position that a long-range hit scan would be. Uh, not Widow, of course, but like Soldier and Soldier, uh, Hansel, that kind of stuff. Attackers. This one is very hard for attackers. Very, very hard. So, for attackers, like I said before, I like to go for flanks there because people are actually unaware... Um, whenever, you, whenever you flank there, they don't really check it that often. So... What I would do is always like every five seconds, maybe like look back and make sure that there's nobody there. Maybe like four seconds um, just to like clear it. Uh, another thing, another good thing is having your tank push the cart and you play under here. Um, because what the uh, defending team wa wants is that they want to force fights here. Again, because they have the high ground, they have the advantage. So they want to force fights. But if you stand down here, they're going to have to drop down from high ground in order to contest you. So if you play it right Three, with your positioning, two, um, then you should be able to get the card all the way over here without having to take a fight. If your tank moves it, either it's Roadhog or, or Rissa, they can be t they can do a lot of tanking from the people shooting them over here. What you could do is eventually, like, it, like from time to time, go out and peek and try and like force them off your tank. But don't try and overextend or peek too much or try and go over here in order to take a duel. Because if you go over here and take a duel, you will be in a very bad spot. Another spot that you can take is here. The reason for why this is better than over there is because you can like go back and line aside immediately. Um, you have cover really, really close to you. Whereas here, the only cover that you really have is like, are like these thin pillars that they're like, that they're... They can pretty much see you from a lot of places. So if you want to hide from over there, then you have to peek over there and like vice versa. You can also hide here. But like, again, like a soldier and E will force you out. And it's, uh, I wouldn't recommend going. Uh, yeah, just play safe. You don't even have to play in there. You could play back here. Um, just waiting for your tank to push it. You can't really do much here. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't start flanking already. Um, I would, uh, I would take, um, I would just follow the cart initially. Once the card is around here, then I could consider flanking. If you lose the next fight, hey. if you lose the next fight here, I'd consider like when you respawn, go over on the flank, which we can cover after this. But once card is here, uh, what I would recommend, because then the next fight is going to be them having a few people up here, if any, but most of them on here. At least one or two on card, because they want to contest card. That could be a Roadhog and a Kiriko. Uh, and, and some people over there, because they don't, uh, they want to take the next fight. On, on high ground over there you can go through bank and take high ground here uh, if they're still up here you can slowly duel them make sure you don't overextend and make sure that there's nobody in here in the corner because they can easily push you over here and once they're forced out then you can start dueling the people on the other high ground um let's say you lose a fight down here you lose a fight um i would uh, go this way once i respawn and take this high ground And the reason for why I like this high ground is because they are going to have a hard time peeking you over here. They're going to have a hard time peeking you over here because they're always going to go up, peek, and like have to fall back. So this can only really work for them if they have a mercy pocket to like sustain uh, the constant poke that their long range hit scan is going to do uh, to you. Um, and if that's the case, you can, you can just chill over here because you can also just fall back pretty much, right? Like you don't have to like overextend and go all the way here. Playing right here is probably the perfect area up here. Within this area right here. You playing here is going to force the enemies in a very, very bad position. 
they cannot stay here in this area because if they do they're going to be way too exposed and it's going to be easy for you to kill them because let's just say you win the you lose the original trade you he does like 150 damage to you but you only do 50 damage to him you fall back and you get heals by your teammates that are here or you just go down and get the health pack then you go up for round two and like if you have heal issue you can constantly do this and eventually they will have to fall back because you will eventually win the fight even if you just win 10 percent of the fights you will win that because the 90 percent that you lose you're gonna fall back and get healed and reset so it's gonna force them either in that position or that position behind this uh church which gives your teammates a lot of space right if you have a tank moving the cart the people over here can't really peek and the people over there can't really peek they can peek here but as long as your teammates stay behind the cart let's say the cart is where my spray is as long as they stay over here behind the cart they pretty much just have to worry about these people up here which again you're holding in check up there so this is actually a very very good spot to go in um after you lose the first fight so that's it if you're d if you're defending what you want to do as this person is you want to challenge this person like that's going to be your goal uh you, you want to challenge this person or whoever has a mercy pocket if you have a mercy pocket as a long range scan you want to challenge these people because you need to help your teammate a lot you can't just like focus on cart uh if you just stay here and you ignore these people and you focus on cart you will lose the trade because they are they're the ones getting cart time they're the ones moving the cart while you're just like sitting there trying to create pressure but not really creating pressure all right second point i'd say always i say like a good rule of thumb is like start the fight the first fight in the new area on cart um don't try and make like crazy plays by like having your cart here and like have the whole team flanking up here and and try and take high ground because ultimately like it's escort right you as attackers like your objective is to move the cart it's not to win fights of course winning fights help but there's actually a lot of times where I lose Hello. games because the enemy, even though we win the majority of the fights, we still lose the game because they just did the object. They just played the objective way better. Every time I play against, I play against LH Cloudy, he just plays Reinhardt. He stays on cart and he just moves the cart the whole time. And like, we can't really like, unless we have a tank that contests him, we can't really contest him. And, 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 but we're going to win the majority of the fights, but he's going to win the game because he's just fucking, he's moving this bad boy um so again first point i'll just like move the cart like up to here pretty much here's a good spot um sometimes what i do is like once the cart is up there i like stay down here because when you're here you can still contest the cart and you can move the cart but you're not peeking the people from above you or on the high ground over here so this is a good spot again if they drop down on you you need to be careful so try and get as much cart time as possible in the first fight without taking position because what you can do in the next fight Let's just say Good you got the you. cart moved to here and you lose the fight. Next fight, your team can go in here, take high ground. Uh, sometimes you can take low ground if the cart has moved all the way up here, which I don't think it... Most of the time, the cart stops around here first fight. But if it moves all the way up here, you can take low ground here and move the cart and just play objective, play with your tank. Um, even as long range hit scan, long, a lot of long range hit scans are like quite strong close range because you, you can get a lot more headshots in. Uh, and there's also like pretty like rough fall off damage for some of the characters like soldier long range you can't really like kill people with um cassidy long range is also horrendous um sojourns long range was nerfed recently right so i think i think blizzard in general even wants long range hit scans to like play with their team from time to time so here's a very good spot to play down if the card is over here uh move the card you can go out move the card go in and once the card's like uh, towards this area you can even go out and move the card here with them again be careful of the defenders over there um but yeah so if it's there if the card only moved till there in the first fight the best thing to do is take high ground take high ground force them off high ground because once you force them off high ground then they're forced to uh, fall back here because most of the time people are going to be defending up here Hello. So they're gonna have to fall back here which then leaves this whole area open to move the cart so either your support or your tank could drop down to the cart here and move it for free um they might go over here but initially they will be jumping back down uh, back here uh and retrieving back here and go back into spawn because this is where they have really good line of sight and they can take another fight against you um so be, yeah try and force them off this position most of sometimes I, I assume they will try and contest you because 
having high ground is the key, especially on Dorado. Because um, there is so much of it. There's so much high ground on this map. Yeah, try and force them off high ground here. If the card is there, if the card is down here, you can try and play objective. Because you can also force them off high ground by having them to con by having them uh, contest the card. And you can do that very easily if, if you contest it from down here. Because uh, there's so much line of sight for you to play. Because... They can they can contest these, but again, there's they can just fall back behind cover very easily. So yeah, and like once once card moves over there, you can play here. Uh, sometimes I play here, but most of the time I want to play here. I want to play closer because also when I play here, I can shoot the majority of the people contesting cart. If the cart is around there, I can shoot the majority of people. But if I stand over here, I cannot. I there's like the whole cover behind cart that I can't shoot, and I can't shoot them in spawn either. Um, because I want to stay here and I want to kill them like once they come out of spawn, so they cannot contest as well, uh, preferably so. So that's for attacking. Sometimes you can also go for a flank here. Again, it's risky. I don't like to do it too often, but but you can. There is this flank for Ash, Widow, Hanso, Sojourn, um, <laughs> Moira. <laughs> but <laughs> if you if you like to play DPS Moira, but again, it's not. I wouldn't say this is the best. Some people like it. I, I'm not a big fan of it. Hello. All right, defense. <clears throat> so again, most of the time you will be losing the, the last fight over here. Either when cards around here or when cards around there or there. And at that point, at that point, they're going to cap it. They're going to open the gate and you're going to be setting up for next fight, right? You're not going to be taking the next fight on third point here, right? So you want to get high ground. You want to get ready for the fight. Um, and again, high ground. I'm going to say this a lot because high ground for majority of characters if not all is 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 actually so good get ready to fight them they are going to be poking you out sometimes sometimes what i see people do uh again even though i don't i don't think it's necessarily the right thing is i see them like pretty much have their cart there and then um start rotating immediately um i feel like you should at least move it up to there but again that's that's my opinion um i might be wrong but um, yeah, that's my opinion. That, that's like what I feel comfortable with, right? So, but let's say their card is there. They're already moving up, uh, trying to fight you. Uh, again, you want to be playing here and you want to rely on your tank here. Um, you want to rely on your tank somewhat holding ground here. Uh, whether it's around the corner, which in that case, if they push out, they're going to be shooting your tank and like, um, you might have a little bit of line of sight on them here um but if they eventually push out and they win the tank fight you want to fall back and try and go for a pick um but if you can't get a pick again fall back especially once you lose your front line you have to fall back uh but it's actually not that bad if that happens and their card is there because by the by the time your tank is back respawning the card has only really moved to the second location where i initially won it from the first fight right so again, but just pretty much just play safe. Once your tank comes back, uh, you need to contest high ground. You can contest high ground two ways, depending on the movement of the character. You can contest it over here. Go this way, out of spawn. You can contest it over here and take high ground. But with soldier, you can't really do that. So soldier, you would want to take left side here and, and go high ground here. Um... Your goal that's a long range just again is pretty much at this at this point is trying to take high ground control high ground uh that way it'll it'll make it a lot easier for your tank um to win the game i wouldn't try and go for flanks yeah i guess you, i guess you can rocket jump i guess you can rocket rocket jump up there but then you have then you already have an like you've already used an ability that does 120 damage to the enemies and you you'd most likely want that to finish off targets or or help finish them off i wouldn't go down here like point blank um i sometimes do it i don't i think i regret it 99 percent of the times um even though you have movement characters you go down here and then like they look at you and force you out and you have to use your movement ability and you're just wasting a bunch of time uh so i i really wouldn't do that like i said i i do it sometimes and i regret it immediately using your cooldowns to get high ground like this is way more beneficial for you and your team and again if they win this fight up here and the car is moving over here you can go over here and position yourself here this is what i do sometimes like let's say you lose a fight where the cart's over there and you're respawning res respawning i don't know why i said it like that um 
I actually like to go over here and peek people. Because if I go, let's say Kart, you lost the fight there and Kart's moved up here. Their tank is most likely going to be around this area. So if I go over here and peek, I will be looking at their backline or DPS on the side of them. Because your tank is going to be contesting Kart up there. But you can go out here and actually possibly kill one or two people. Um, so I actually really like to do this on the last fight uh, uh, on, on defense. Hello. Go this way and try and get a pick. Uh, sometimes there are Anaheights in there, but most of the time their support's going to be playing here. Especially if you get their supports down to half HP right here, they have nowhere to go. If they walk forward, they are going to die by walking into your tank. If they walk backwards, there's like so much open space. The only way that they're going to survive is if they run in here. And at that time, you should be able to kill them. Uh, but what I see majority of them do is once you shoot them, they're going to look over. They're going to see their half HP and they're going to run back. And when they run back, they're going to be running in a straight line most of the time because they want to get here as fast as possible and around the corner. And they can't like, they can't really like, one of the sides they can't like walk into. So there's, a, there's a damn wall. So it's actually very easy to kill people here if you get them down to one a half HP because they're going to be panicking. You can also go out here. But again, if the cart's here, like if the car is there, you won't be having a lot of line of sight. And like they can easily fall back behind the corner. So. So what I would definitely recommend for a long range scan is, is go out here and try and get a pick or two. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Dorado. Hello. Key points is um, okay. help out your take positioning, especially high ground. Challenge the enemy uh, long range hit scan characters. Because if you do that, you're going to be uh, relieving your tank from a lot of pressure. Uh, and if your tank has a way less pressure, he's going to have a way easier time winning the tank duel. And if you win the tank duel, uh, you have a very good chance of winning the fight. So, stay high ground, challenge, hit scans, and um, get positioning. Out position the enemies, boys. That's it. I'll be I'll be doing more of these on different maps in the future, especially on long range just gonna again because that's like what I what I play the most. And uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start off with the Rado now. We uh, we'll uh, we'll do some more in the future.